Now, this not even going to be all that deep. I'm just about to roast mother. That's all I can do here is roast because I can't give you a nuanced take all the time and definitely not on the audacity of how these uh, behind the keyboard management niggas have the nerve to try to come left at Jonathan Majors for wearing pink and not I don't know, not holding a gun. And what, what, what do y'all want from this nigga? What do y'all want? Y'all like, well, first I want to again say, I just want to be clear. This is a loud minority of bad take artists, right? People like Boyce Watkins, these little Madison niggas, um, you know, probably some, some, some Russian trolls, whatever. Him and with Rihanna, these bad take artists that say stupid and ignorant things just for the sake of getting drug by everybody else for attention. However, I got to drag you on this. You won this time. You won this time. So I just want to use the phrase, just say you hate black men. Like, just say you hate black men at this point. If Jonathan Majors wearing pink and having flowers around him is too much for y'all. Just say you hate black men if ASAP Rocky holding a baby is somehow destroying the black community in your eyes. You are fucking stupid. And I'm so tired of being nice to y'all niggas in public. Because I tell these niggas they stupid in private on a regular basis. But in public, I just, I just got to get this off my chest. Jonathan Majors is on so many levels, not every level, but on so many levels, the epitome of idealized black masculinity. <clears throat> so let's not, let's not like get into the fact that Jonathan, somebody called Jonathan Majors civil rights sexy or something like that. Um, like Jonathan Majors has features that are intensely black. Um, and, and in a specific like combination that is generally speaking, not like champion in mainstream media. Um, but like he's got enough swagger and it comes together just right where this brother with these really big lips, this really big nose and this really stocky physique and this dark skin is a sex symbol. And I love that. I love that for him. I love that for the culture. Because everybody can't look like Tyrese. You know what I mean? Like, everybody can't have that perfect model black man face. You know what I mean? So so you can't call him a pretty boy is what I'm saying. He's a sex symbol while looking like a dude that might fix your car. I love that for the, I love that for the culture. Then he is a master of his craft. You know what I mean? Like, he is clearly a I, I feel like I don't feel like I, I, I don't watch enough now these days he's got to be at least one of the best he's at least one he's a, one of the best actors out right now and I don't know if there's any other black actor whose performances are more impressive than his right now over over Lakeith Stanfield definitely over um John David Washington definitely over like I'm 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 scared to see uh him with uh Michael B Jordan cuz like he bought the he bought to put Michael B Jordan in the box like that's going to be rough. I hope I hope Michael B Jordan is ready. Um you know like the, the man disappears in his roles. It's not just like you know Denzel Washington is an A-list black actor, right? Um Daniel Kaluuya is probably like the closest one maybe. Brian Tyree Henry, no, that's second place. That's second place. It's Brian Tyree Henry. But Denzel Washington is an A-list actor, but like Denzel Washington and, and um, Will Smith and a lot of the A-listers, whenever you watch one of them in a movie, they're basically playing the same character. I don't, have y'all noticed that? Like every movie Denzel Washington's been in for a good 10, 15 years, he's been the same character. He's been the guy from, you know, he's been the guy from training day for like 15 years straight now. You know, Keanu Reeves is another one. They're playing the same character. Will Smith, um, Brad Pitt, you know, um, all of them are all basically playing the same character in every movie. 
And that's how you, for me, that's how you tell a good actor from like a, just a good movie star. Jonathan Majors is a different nigga in every movie he's in. Watching him in the Black Western is a whole different vibe than what he just did in Ant-Man and the Wasp, is a whole different vibe than who he was in uh, Lovecraft Country, um, et cetera. Like he's just disappearing in his roles. So he is a non-pretty boy, but a master of his craft. He looks like he can whoop your ass. He's successful. He's all these things. He is everything that you would want. Like these dudes that keep on saying black, real black men are invisible and disappearing. He's all those things. He's literally getting ready to fight another nigga in the movie for the whole movie. It's Creed three is going to be two slow niggas fighting. It's going to be, it's going to be, <laughs> what do y'all want? But he did a photo shoot where the aesthetic of the shoot is contrasting these soft images and these images that are traditionally feminine with the intense traditional masculine like imagery of a uh, majors. That's the whole point of the imagery to see him in a uh, surrounded by roses in boxing gear. And these dudes are complaining. And mind you, and I say this as a chubby nigga sitting behind a computer screen, these are mostly chubby niggas sitting behind computer screens. No shade. These are dudes that ain't like, ain't welded a, a, a joint, ain't changed oil, don't even probably take out their trash. You know what I'm saying? Like these are the least traditionally masculine men in the world drawing lines on somebody else's magazine on Twitter, trying to police the manhood of another dude who they could never measure up to. And it's so infuriating. It's so infuriating because those same dudes will get up here and talk about how, you know, black women and black feminism is destroying black men and, you know, the, the suicide rate for men is so bad. Um, and all these other, you know, um, alligator tear ass talking points that they only bring up when it's convenient. And as soon as it's time to engage with the type of politics and imagery that's actually helpful and healthy for men, for black men in particular, they can't take it. They wanna police the shit out of it. It's like, we have all these markers of what a real man is supposed to do that folks, like I can't say this enough. I can't repeat this enough times. I know men who ascribe and aspire to patriarchy in my personal life. I know a lot of them, you know what I'm saying? They're not like bad guys, but when we start getting into certain conversations, I know we are not gonna see eye to eye about what men should be, what women should be, et cetera, et cetera. I, I am to the left of them in that regard, right? So they're not, they're not, they're not what I'm seeking to reproduce in terms of black men. But them niggas would not set foot in the spaces that these online black manosphere niggas occupy. Better shit to do. Because they have, they are real, they are real men in that regard. They look at these online zealot black manosphere drawn on the magazine cover, cock shame saying red pill taking niggas as fucking losers. They don't give them no respect. And that's why those dudes hang out here where we got to deal with y'all asses. And I'm just so tired of taking them seriously. And I'm so tired of treating them with kid gloves because I get shit. I, understandably so. I don't agree with it because after I get it, I get this out my system. After I get this out my system, I'm going to get back to the type of energy I think is more useful which is being empathetic to the types of things that bring those men to this, to this, to this headspace. But right now, <laughs> seeing black management niggas, seeing Boyce Watkins goofy ass, uh, seeing Umar Johnson goofy ass, talking about Jonathan Majors, the most masculine nigga in the world and trying to police him for wearing a pink coat. Y'all know pink was a, like, <sighs> 
the color pink itself it just shows a, a, a complete lack of like historical knowledge and how the color pink has been a masculine feminine color throughout time throughout time like it's like this fourth grade level understanding of gender but and that's the thing that frustrates me the most is that they don't really care they don't care about what they're saying and here's the here's the kicker the thing that has me pissed off when i see these takes it's a mask off moment for them because what it shows you is that they don't really care about what they're saying they just want the attention for saying it which means that the very ethos of their space that they're here to help black men is a lie it is a fabrication because if they really wanted that they would never come out their mouths to complain about these ridiculous frivolous things they just want the clicks and the algorithm rewards them with such and we do too because if we weren't sharing this on twitter and tiktok and whatever else it wouldn't have the same amount of impact if, if they were relegated to the amount of algorithmic space that they actually take up in real life, we would never hear from these dudes. And so that's what annoys me the most is that they just want the attention for having a, a ridiculous bad take. And while there are black men out here really suffering and dying because of situations and belief systems and policies that this type of imagery rejects it just shows the vacuousness of their of their ethics that asap rocky holding his child we got a whole i did a whole video on black men being taken out of this taken out of their their the their children's lives due to systemic and and state uh bat um situations i did a whole video on that and i had all these madness for niggas in my chat you know, saying it's really the women's fault. It's really women's fault. And mad at me that I wouldn't blame women. Um, a, a handful at least appreciate the fact that I was saying it, but I had a whole, this whole discourse around who's really at fault. And then a month later, there is a picture of a man with his child being able to be a part of that child's life. And these same dudes are calling him soft, which if you want to be real, that belief system that men shouldn't directly engage in the nurturing of their children is what the courts pull upon to kick niggas out their families so it's just it's just so frustrating so the, the end was which brings me back to just say you don't like black men just say you hate black men because because these niggas don't just hate black women they hate black men too that's the, that's the thing that this drives home that's what it's really all about and because hating black men for content is almost as lucrative as hating black women for content so if you can do both if you are an uncreative unoriginal incurious motherfucker with nothing smart or intelligent to say but you can shit on black men and women in the same video boy you're gonna get an audience on youtube you will get an audience on page on, on uh twitter you will get an audience on tiktok so miss me with this is for the people It's for black family shit. Cause we got a whole black family on the cover of a magazine. Like say something about Rihanna being a billionaire. Like give me some real critique. Say something about anything that's of substance or shut the fuck up. And that's, 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 oh. oh, I'm happy I got that out of my system.